thank you again for joining um, and listening to my channel. Uh, you've reached uh, Justice Now, and this is on Workplace Mobbing. So this is part six of the series on workplace mobbing and what targets are expected to anticipate in such a scenario. I am currently in a workplace mobbing situation right now and I wanted to report another um, aspect of it that targets will encounter. You'll notice that you'll be constantly passed over for promotion. Um, and it's and it's ongoing. For instance, in the situation that I'm currently in, I had applied to several positions. There's been very few that I've been interviewed for. Um, and the reason being is that I've been sending the, the, the resume along with the cover letter and the day before the last day of resume submissions, you will get an email or be notified in some way through small talk that you hear around the office, that the position has been given to another person. This has happened for the, let's say about the fifth time in this particular work environment. No interview, even though you've submitted your resume, no interview, You'll only be found out that it's been given to somebody else. So expect that. Expect to be passed over for promotions. That is the purpose. The purpose is to sabotage your progress. You know, and, you know, keep in mind that it is a premeditated, organized effort. I mean... This is really organized criminal activity. Unfortunately, it's not being recognized as it should in the law. I mean, you can't just go and give someone jobs because you feel like it. If there's going to be a... If it's going to be open competition then need to go through the motions, but they are so flagrant about this. They just basically do what they want and they don't care about procedure. See, and you know, when, when you, when you see organizations operate in this manner, you really got a question. Do you really want to be in a situation like that? Do you want to be working for an organization like that, that, that employs these types of practices? So this is just another way, another tactic, a tacky tactic, that is used to further terrorize targets and provoke. It's, it's to elicit a response, a responsive anger. So what I would encourage you to do is when you encounter stuff like that is to take a deep breath, hold your chin high, put your shoulder back, continue to congratulate all the people that they've chosen by devious means 
to give those positions to. And do your exit strategy. Work elsewhere. Definitely work on your exit strategy and work elsewhere because they do not deserve your talent. It's very hard, you know. Um, it's really hard because you have a group of people, not just one, two, or three, but a group, a whole group of people putting you down. A lot of them you don't even know, which segues into bystanders. Um, there's bystanders, and, uh, and then there's, there's those who engage. Um, some of them will know you, but a lot of them you will not know. A lot of them you would have had no contact with, or the most that you would say is, Hi, how are you? How was your vacation, or how was the holidays, or how was the weather? But there isn't an ongoing dialogue. So it's very interesting how these are the same ones that will turn around and lie about you. And they will do it. They will bear false witness against you. And you've done nothing wrong to them. You're going to find ones that you've helped get their positions turning against you. It's, good. it's, it's an eye-opener. It's an eye-opener. You, you really, in this situation, you really get to figure out who is for you and who is against you. And oftentimes you'll find that you're very alone. In those situations... You know, just keep your support group strong. Um, plenty of self-care. And work on an exit strategy. And uh, thanks, that's part six. Uh, I will be focusing on part seven, so stay tuned. I'm not quite sure what to call it yet, but um, when it comes time, I'm sure that I'll... I will... Uh, think of something <laughs> uh, for the next topic because uh, these um, these creatures give you plenty plenty to uh, plenty subjects to discuss to to help targets uh, get through this very very tough and stressful time um, so stay strong be sure to do self-help for you and uh, self-care and be around positive people and work on your exit plan. Stay tuned for the next video.